All right, so welcome back to the channel. This is the Ian West Network, and today we're going to do another unboxing of a speaker. This particular one is by Bitech. It's a wireless speaker with color changing lights. So without further ado, let's put the drop in and we're going to get directly into this video. Okay, so first things first, let's start off by saying that this particular speaker is from Five Below. So you're looking at about $5, $6, I think. The price is half changed, so I'm, I don't know if it's based on location, but let's say about $6 and some change, you would actually get this wireless speaker. Um, it's not part of the 10 Below section, so that's a good thing, thank God. It is still in that under $10 range. So let's unbox it. I wanna show you how it looks. Then we're gonna talk a little bit about specs, battery life, and things like that. Um, I do not believe this uh, speaker has an IP rating. I looked in the manual. Now, what you're seeing is exactly how it's normally unboxed, minus the little instruction manual that's normally up top right here when you first open the box, uh, micro USB. So as usual, most of these speakers are going to be micro USB. Um, eventually, I'm pretty sure uh, they will get, what's the word I'm looking for here? USB-C speakers eventually. But for now, you get what you get. So this is actually a pretty small speaker. When I first saw this box, you know, the first thing that went through my head that this is going to be a pretty tall speaker, but it turned out it's actually handheld. I do like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. It doesn't, you know how sometimes you come across a speaker and it feels extremely cheap? Like, granted, this isn't some high-end speaker and you could definitely tell, like if you've had anchor speakers or even beat speakers or just the little pills, you could tell the difference with the weight, the heft that it's a more better quality speaker before you even listen to it. This particular one, it feels cheap without a doubt, but I will say that it looks decently crafted. Like again, um, they're trying to make it look like a better product right off the bat. You can see that. Like this doesn't look bad at all. To be honest, if I would have opened this up and I didn't know that was a $5 product, I would, I would have been very, very surprised. Like this is something that probably would have cost more money than any, anywhere else. Anyhow. Let's get into the specifications of this bad boy, and we will connect it in real time. So, first things first, uh, it is Bluetooth version 5.1. That's surprising. I, I thought this was going to be 5.0, but it's not. 5 volts, so that's what you're going to get if you're cha uh, charging it. Sound output, mm, all over the place. Sound output, there we go. It's early in the morning, guys, so don't mind me. 5 watts. <laughs> charge time, it takes about 1 to 2 hours to fully charge this. When it says one to two hours, I'm guessing that's if uh, the speaker's on or if the speaker's off. Because I know that some speakers do charge while it's still on. I don't necessarily recommend that with wireless speakers. The only thing I, I would say uh, a phone more so, but not, not a, necessarily a wireless speaker. Uh, Playtime, up to two hours. So to be honest, it takes up to two hours to charge it. The playtime is up to two hours. That determines uh, if the volume is all the way up. If you're playing something at 100% volume, that does drastically change what your battery life is normally going to be on a product versus normally when they say a certain battery life, it's kind of like an unspoken uh, rule, but it's normally about 70% that you're 70% of the maximum volume that you're using it at to obtain that battery life, especially when it comes to like phones and tablets and different things. It's never a hundred percent that they base is on because the average person does not listen to a speaker at a hundred percent. That's just insane. If you do, um, 400 mAh battery, don't really necessarily need to know that because we see the battery life right here on the box. What else do we have here? 33 feet. Okay. And do, 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 do that. <coughs> Excuse me. That looks like it's about it in terms of that. Now, this does have a base booster already built in it. Now, I can't say how good is this going to sound. We're going to test that theory out. Uh, color changing is what you see right here. So we'll do that in real time. In addition to that, it does have an F FM radio SD card slot. So what I've read in the instructions is if you put the SD card slot, which is right here, where did it, right here we go, right here, if you plug it into this, it'll automatically go into the mode based on what the instruction says, where it'll read your SD card and play music from there. So that's a pretty cool feature where you don't have to physically change it yourself. Here's your on and off button, uh, your, mic, your USB A and do, 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 do your charger port right here. On the front, we're gonna have, let see if I can get you a clear picture of that. There we go. Play button, play and pause. 
you have your minus and plus, which just doubles down as multiple buttons. This is, uh, you can hold this to turn the volume down. You hold the, pl the a plus to turn the volume up. If you're trying to change the song, you just tap it once and it'll do that for either or. Um, you already know what a multi button does. Don't think I have to explain that one too much, but that is about it. Now, this button right here is the one I want to try out. I believe this button, ah, this I know what this is. So it's actually a feature where you can connect this to multiple speakers. So let's say you have more than one TWS speaker. You're actually able to hold this or, you know, go through a process to connect more than one speaker to the same device. That way you get more umph and sound. I know that a lot of Bluetooth do do that nowadays. Personally, I just like them where it's just one and done and it just has great sound. But some people might want to have a sound system set up in a way where you have multiple speakers actually connected. Now, granted, looking at this battery life, I wouldn't necessarily do that. But if this could be charged and used at the same time while it's on, that's a different story. I would just never unplug it, really. All right, so with that being said, let's get into actually syncing this device up. Then we'll go ahead and do some battery test. Not battery test, I'm sorry. Uh, music test. So let's go to our Bluetooth. I'm going to do that on a tablet right now and show you in real time what this is actually called when you sync it. Because that's another problem, again, that we have with these speakers. And when you turn it on... Uh-uh. Let me find out the thing is dead. Uh, there we go. All right, so this is how the speaker looks when it's on. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in search mode. Let's scan. See if we can find this bad boy. <clears throat> BYBS172. You know, I'm going to go ahead and say that's what the speaker is. Because if you watched a previous video of mine, um, a lot of these speakers, uh, they don't give you the speaker name initially, like on the box. Some do. A lot of times they don't. So when you search for a particular speaker, this box will say Bytech, whatever it is, but it doesn't actually say the name of the speaker on the box itself. And that could be a problem for people that are syncing or if you're in a, a, a location that has many, many Bluetooths, you might accidentally attach to someone else's. So if you do purchase this device, just so you know, it's the BY-BS-172 in the actual Bluetooth settings. <clears throat> All right, so from here... We're going to go ahead and find some fun and exciting YouTube music. Derek Jackson. Ha, I love his videos to make fun of them. All right, let's see here. <laughs> YouTube friendly music. You. You know, I keep forgetting this is a different tablet than what I normally use. I, I spelled that wrong. Jesus. YouTube. Uh, well, how did I do this? There we go. YouTube friendly music. I think it'll pop up from here. There we go. Let's give it a shot. Let's give forward a little bit so you can hear it. There we go. Give you a little sound so you can hear that. Okay, so <clears throat> to be honest, this isn't a bad speaker. The only, like, it doesn't have some crazy, insane bass. Now, what I will, oh, let, let me start off by saying this. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Um, as a viewer, you may not, you're not going to get the sound that I hear face to face. So a lot of times when you do these unboxing of speakers and different things, it's really based on the person that's listening to it because you may hear this video and you're like, it, I, it sounds like any other speaker that I ever heard. But when you hear it in real time, that's a different story. Uh, what I will say about this particular speaker and the music is that it's very clear. Um, matter of fact, let me turn it up. Let, let me go ahead and turn this up so we can hear it at higher volume. Okay. Not bad. All right. So I just wanted to turn up the max volume in the vid video. I did. I'm sorry. I thought I would stop recording for a second. <laughs> I'm using a different phone. So when I didn't see that little recording symbol at the top, I said, oh, my gosh, I'm talking for nothing. But no, it's still recording. So anyway, um, 
The only downside I could say to the speaker, because again, you're paying for a product that's five, six dollars. Um, I don't expect high quality Bose sound. I know that there's some people out there that purchase products, cheaper Android devices and things, and they think it's going to rival an, a thousand dollar iPhone. No, you need another thousand dollar phone to rival another thousand dollar phone. That's just common sense. But some people don't think that way. So what I will say about this particular speaker is that uh, the sound, it sounds good. Now, granted, if you're in a room full of people, like if this is if you're in an office, and I use an office because it's 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 pretty quiet there for the most part, depending on what kind of office you work in, and you play something, and a bunch of people are around, or if you have that type of atmosphere where you can do that comfortably, um, this speaker will give you some decent sound. It will. If it's a crowd of people talking, you're probably not going to be able to hear what's happening on a simple fact that it doesn't have any intense bass. But it has enough where you can play, just from listening to this sample right here, um, you could definitely play some songs, some rock music, some certain things, and you'll get some decent sound out of it. But you're not going to get the crazy bass that uh, Beats by Dre users or Bose users normally have. Don't expect that. That's just, get that out of your head right now. The only downside I can honestly say to the speaker is the fact that it only plays for two hours up to two hours so that means that time varies now granted some people won't have an issue with that because if you're at home if you have a charger if you're plugged up to a computer things like that you could just throw this in a usb and you're good to go but for someone that takes this on the go or they want to listen to this for more than two hours you know what honestly i think speakers should have at least a minimum of eight hours no less if we're just talking about random wireless bluetooth speakers but again uh, look where you're getting this from. You got to understand what this is used for. It's not a boom box. I'm sorry, guys. Let me go ahead and turn that back on. There we go. Definitely made this video longer than what it should be, but it doesn't have some insane sound. It's just good for podcasts. It would be good for uh, playing just regular songs, R&B, rap, different things. I, I think it do all genres, to be honest. And I think that with the sound from the sample that we just heard, you'll basically have no issue with uh, if you turn up the volume, will it crackle? Will it do this? Will it do that? No, it sounds fine. It wasn't struggling. You know how sometimes when you turn up speakers, you can feel the speaker struggling or stuttering and, and just trying to keep up with the volume. It did good. This is a good speaker. I like this speaker, believe it or not. Um Again, only downside is that it only lasts for two hours. And I'm one of those people where I'm used to having speakers that last for 40 hours, 20 hours, 30 hours wireless speakers. But again, just lower your expectations. This isn't some hot, super high-end product. Just be aware of that. But would I suggest this to someone else? Absolutely. Because, you know, I've done other speakers on this channel where they look beautiful, but they sound awful. And it's like I was super surprised. Now, this, on the other hand, when I took it out the box, something told me, you know what? This is probably going to sound decent. And guess what? It actually did. So that's pretty much a review. I definitely suggest this. Uh, you know, the holidays is coming. That's one of the reasons why I do smaller products from Five Below, Ross, different places. Because not everybody wants to just whip out hundreds of dollars for someone that may or may not appreciate what they buy them. But instead, this is something that I want to give to my godchildren or my nieces or my aunts, or whoever. I want to make them like a little care package of speakers and headphones and different things. And they're going to appreciate it. And they'll like this. They'll use it when they're cooking, things like that. You never know. And it's lightweight. It's super lightweight. I like this. I'm super surprised about this. To be honest, I would just put this on my computer desk and just have it on. <laughs> I wouldn't even have it connected to anything. Just the lights alone just make me really like this. Just the aesthetics of how it looks. I think I used that word right. I'm not too sure. But uh, it looks nice. I like it. It's a really cool speaker. I'm rambling now. Anyway, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let's talk about it in the comment section if you have any particular questions about this. Because I didn't exactly go into the multi-function button right here. Um, I told you what this was, which is the uh, how you can sync more than one product. So I'm going to see if I can get another one of these in another video and just show you how to sync more than one speaker together. So that way, moving forward, we'll understand that process. But anyway, again, like, subscribe, be safe out there. Don't do anything crazy. Your life is important. And I will see you guys in the next video.